Kivi's built-in URL request is way uh, better for graphical user interfaces than the normal Python request package. So I'm going to show you um, with the normal request package, I have a button here, and when I click it, uh, I'll do 10 requests to ping google.com, okay? And if I click it, I get stuck. I can't click anything else on my screen while it's making those requests. With one of Kibi's built-in URL requests, it's asynchronous. So while it's doing all the work, my GUI still functions, okay? So let me show you the code for this. Um, here I've imported requests so I could show you the wrong way to do things in Kibi. And then here I'm using uh, the URL request from the kibi.network.url URL request module. All right, so I just have a simple user interface right here, so a couple buttons uh, in my grid, that's all that is. Uh, the first button, I run this uh, run requests function. So here I am, this is the basic request, so I do a request.get um, onto google.com, and then I'm, I'm printing i. So I run this 10 times, and I print i. So if I go over here and I hit normal requests, we'll see it's printing down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's pretty slow. A lot of times you want to make a lot of these, all right? Um, and then if I click the other, the Kibi URL, URL request button, then it runs this function here. And this one does for I in range 10, so also 10 requests, but it does uh, Kibi's URL request. And then when it's finished, it'll also print I. So if I go run it over here again, boom, it's already finished, basically before we can even get back to the screen. So it runs way faster because they're all going at the same time asynchronously and you can use your GUI while they're running. So this is definitely the way to do things with Kibi's um, URL request. All right, so the way you use this, the syntax is uh, URL request, so that's what we've imported from Kibi. And then you tell it where to, uh, what the URL is and then you give a, a method for on success. So if, if it successfully reaches here, it'll call this on success method. And usually you just put a function here like my function, okay? But if you wanna pass an argument, you need to use this partial. So partial is a function from func tools, that's a standard package. So you use partial and then tell it the name of the function that you want. So here's my function update label and then I'm passing in an argument i. Okay, so then you define, this is the on success method. And then Kibi also has some uh, on failure or also on error that you can do. And you also would set up another method there. So maybe I'd do like on error and then I'd have a method that would print the error or something. Okay, so that's basically how it works. This is for a, a get method. So or get request. Notice in the standard package, you have to say request.get and give you just give it the URL. It automatically assumes if you're not passing any data that you want to do a get request. If I want to do like a post request, I would say maybe data is, and then I'd give uh, some JSON data here. So I'd say like key is value. All right. And then I could add another argument, I would say rec body, see rec body there, uh, equals data. Okay, and then if I need to add headers, I can do the same thing, rec headers equals, and I could have headers with the same format. Okay, so something just like this. And then if you put in rec body, Kibi automatically assumes that you're doing a post request instead of a get request. All right, so there you go. There's a URL request uh, using post or get, and that's definitely the way to do things uh, in a graphical user interface with Kibi as opposed to the normal request package. Oh, and one last thing. If you wanna print the result of your URL request, so like the data that you got back after uh, querying this URL, you can simply write, uh, print self.r, that's what I've called my URL request, okay? So self.r.result, that's the attribute that you need. So if I print the result here from a get request on Google, uh, let me rerun this, okay? You can see I've printed everything I just got from the Google web page, so I've scraped it basically, 
All right, that's how easy it is to use Kivy's URL request. Uh, definitely use that. All right, hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys.